Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to go to radar. This really tells the story for the next five to six days. So where you see the moisture now, Washington, Oregon, British Columbia, that's where it's going to stay. That's going to be the rich flow that's directed into that area around a big ridge of high pressure that's going to be developing across the Intermountain West, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. So that's the main player. Everything else is directed around it. And that's what you're going to find on radar for quite some time. All right, let me show you my bullet points this afternoon. So here's what I'm thinking. We've got some residual snow in Colorado, New Mexico tonight, uh, through tonight, and then it's done. Again, high pressure comes in 127 through 131 interior states and they stay high and dry and abnormally warm. In fact, all of the West is gonna be abnormally warm. For example, the rain snow, snow line or freezing levels are going to be jumping way up for this time of the year. Pacific Northwest, and I talked about it in this morning's update. Washington State, for example, we're gonna see the, the freezing level go to seven and 8,000 feet for a long time. In uh, parts of interior British Columbia, the freezing level is gonna go from five to six to seven and 8,000 feet. So it's going to be increasing, even up in B.C. In the lower 48 interior, Utah is a good mirror of what to expect. And I'm, again, no precipitation during that time frame, but the freezing levels are going to be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12,000 feet, believe it or not, by the time we get into the heart of this high pressure. And then a big pattern shift. First, first week of February is still there. Powerful subtropical jet blowing in waves of, high, of, of low pressure and uh, quite a bit of snow as it looks right now. The northeast, you've got some snow coming 128, 129, and then again 22 through 24. All right, let me go back. I want to look at uh, water vapor satellite imagery here. So let me just mark the, the rich flow that's happening. This is where the Almost all the moisture is going to be going over the next five to six days into the Pacific Northwest and BC. Again, lots of warm air. Now, what you see behind it with this big trough of low pressure just sitting and spinning, this stays put for a while until we get to about the 1st, 31st and 1st uh, of February right there. And then it breaks loose and the powerful subtropical jet will steer everything into the west and then eventually it overruns the Intermountain States and we're gonna get an area of low pressure that runs right across and develops in parts of Colorado as it looks right now. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So again, some residual snow in Colorado and blue right there, but then it dries up overnight. Um, and then we're into that flow. High pressure builds in uh, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. Look where all the moisture is. It's right up there in Washington, Oregon, and, the, and, uh, and British Columbia. And it's very warm across the uh, across all of the West during this period. So here's 131, late 130 into 131. Here comes that big trough of low pressure. And you can see it. It's got a big spin. It's got a lot of moisture. That's going to be moving from California. And by the time we get into 21, into the Intermountain West, 22, 23, 24, 25, with a couple different areas of low pressure. Let me extend this out and let me show you what it looks like on 23. So this 2-3, an area of low pressure begins to develop in Colorado, widespread snow. Again, that's 2-3 on the forecast radar. Here's 2-4, same kind of setup with snow all the way from Canada down to New Mexico, including Colorado, all the way down into Denver. So there is some colder air with this. Once we get that trough of low pressure that moves in, it does pull in some colder air within the atmosphere. All right, here's the jet pattern on 2-1. So this is when the door starts to swing wide open, brings in a ripple of low pressure, and the game is afoot. Here we are on 2-4, same thing, powerful jet translating from the Pacific all the way across the southern tier, just like a guiding mechanism for bringing in these disturbances. Snowfall by time period, rest of today through tomorrow, nothing. It's all up in BC at high elevations. Here we are on 128 through 131, it's all west coast in British Columbia. And final period still looks exciting, 2-1 to 2-4, one to two feet of snow for parts of uh, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, and potentially California. So we're still looking at widespread snow accumulation here. It'll just be, we'll just have to fine tune it each day as we get closer and see where these areas of low pressure, um, where the storm track is exactly. One last stop into the, uh, the northeast. The numbers have crept up. Um, the 128, 129 storm will have a nice little band of snow for southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, southern Maine. And then the 2-1 through 2-4 storm system looks to be a little colder coming in from Canada. So that'll also help to raise the totals. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon. Mountain weather update on this Friday. Take care and have a good day.